Hey folks, it is the Monday morning after the disastrous weekend of the first and second GX270 thrust test. Um, just kind of wondering why everything's going a bit pear shaped at the moment. I think some of my calculations are a bit off, I've been expecting a bit too much. But also, somebody uh, a chat called Dan mentioned on the Team Egg Motor Facebook page about just checking your compression. I mean, this engine was a bit of a shed when I got it, and I just put stock. Stock uh, stock size piston rings back it, even though there was a little bit of damage to the a little bit of the portion of the cylinder ball. Um, so what I'm doing now to check the compression is let's just try and get this right. Mm -hmm. So I've disconnected the exhaust side. So to disable the compression release. So where are we now? Just spinning it around. That's the in the intake has just opened. It's closed again. I'm going to, on the compression stroke, and there's not a lot there. I can hear air escaping relatively easily. There's the exhaust pushrod coming up. So that's the exhaust stroke. Intake's opening again, closing. So I'm back on the compression stroke again now. I'll just put this. If you can pick the the noise escaping, I'll just put the phone up to here. See if you can hear it escaping. A bit. Did you hear that? I don't know. I'll do it again. Bring it back around again. Intake. Right. Compression. So let's do this. There's a little bit, but I don't know if that's more than what I need. Intake again. So I don't know. Also, I noticed I've got a little bit of oil underneath here where the head gasket is. Just a little bit, but I mean, it's not been run pretty much really, as it's not, it's not even had half an hour's run time, and there's, there's oil there, so maybe the, the head gasket seal isn't brilliant. I mean, I sanded the, the head down a little bit to slightly increase compression, so it wasn't really an accurate job. And I've done it in the past, so I don't know, maybe I've not talked up the, the head bolts correctly, or I can't tell where the oil's come from. So I think I'm going to have to take the head off and check the bore. So all good fun and games there. Eh? So that's it for now. Just a quick quick update. I've just um, <coughs> I'm just going to hold off on taking the head off for the time being because I've just got uh, we've just got a few degrees of. I know I taught these up properly as per the specs, but I got a little bit of extra turnage just by hand. Uh, fully tight, so to say, and especially on this one, I got a little bit more. And if that's where the oil's coming out, it could be on quite a good enough seal there. So I'm just going to hold steady on taking that off now because I've involved them to fork out for a new head gasket and. Well, that I'll just explore one or two other avenues first, I think, before I decide to set the head off. So, yep, yeah, thanks for now. Catch you later.